Peace, peace, family. Welcome to another episode of Why Be Higher Perspective, where we review internet media, content, news clips, or just everyday internet video clips, and we give you a higher cognitive disposition in regards to the subject matter at hand. Today, family, we're going to be giving you a Why Be Higher Perspective in regards to Nick Cannon apologizing to the Jewish community for comments that I personally feel, uh, I didn't, I'm not going to say he... He knew what he was talking about, but he knew what he wanted to talk about. And I don't believe that Nick Cannon's comments were um, were uh, warranting an apology in any kind of manner. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, you know give my reasons and explanations why. And, the, and and one of the main questions we're gonna be asking is, you know, why can't we talk about the Jews? That's gonna be one of the main you know. Uh, platforms of this YPR perspective but with that being said family like always as I always do uh, I'm getting ready to pull up the clip we can watch it for ourselves and then I'm gonna give my higher perspective and so without further ado here we go and bam in a series of tweets Nick apologizes for comments he made on his podcast Cannon's class calling his words hurtful and divisive and adding that they came from an uninformed and naive place Nick also writes I want to ensure my Jewish friends, new and old, that this is only the beginning of my education. I am committed to deeper connections, more profound learning, and strengthening the bond between our two cultures today and every day going forward. Notably, the apology does not mention Viacom CBS, who announced they're ending their relationship with Nick, citing his remarks on the June 30th episode of his podcast. Before issuing his apology to the Jewish community, Nick hit back at Viacom CBS, writing in a Facebook post that he, quote, will not be bullied, silenced, or continuously oppressed by any organization, group, or corporation. He also demanded an apology from the company, as well as full ownership of his improv show, Wild and Out, which airs on MTV, which is also a Viacom CBS property. We've reached out to the company to see if Nick's latest statement has affected their decision, but in the meantime, we do know that he will continue as the host of The Masked Singer over on Fox. In a statement, the network explains, he is clear and remorseful that his words were wrong and lacked both understanding and context and inadvertently promoted hate. This was important for us to observe. Nick has sincerely apologized and quickly taken steps to educate himself and make amends. Adding, Okay, I've heard everything I needed to hear. Now let me let me say what I have to say. First of all, I don't I didn't hear nothing that Nick Cannon said describe hate. Science is not hate. See, we have a group of people on this planet Earth who I'm not going to name because, you know, they act like whenever you say something about them, they want to uh, attack you digitally and, uh, you know, say things are hate. So you know who I'm talking about. Uh, the people who start with the mm and end with the S after the W. Now, let me just jump right in. If, if you are not a descendant of the mitochondrial Eve gene, which is basically being born from African descendancy. According to microbiology, you are not a full human being. You are 93% human being, 7% Neanderthal at minimum, okay? And so, let's just be clear on that. Now, why is this important? These specific humanoid groups on this planet or subhuman groups on this planet don't have neuromelanin within the epidermis layer of their skin. They don't have liquidized melanin within the third ventricle of their brain, which is released uh, once the fourth ventricle is pushed open via stimulation of the pineal gland. And their consciousness is not elevated through the sun via electromagnetic connection via the medium of the neuromelanin nerve tract of the brain. And this is why a specific group of people get sun cancer, because melanin is condensed sunlight. The color black absorbs the light of God. The color white reflects the light of God. There is a species of people on this planet who literally ref who literally reject the light of God, the light of the sun. This is why, you know, that land over there, which is a state that was stolen not only from Af Africans initially, but Palestinians, Palestinians most recently, is the second highest in the world for skin cancer. So my thing is Nick Cannon didn't know what the fuck he was talking about, but he know what he wanted to talk about. And I don't respect Nick Cannon apologizing at all because you don't apologize when you're right. For two, I don't respect Nick Cannon for apologizing because you you had all of these other black, entre, or excuse me, black uh, entertainers or, or Hollywood uh, 
employees jump out their tree and risk their platforms for you knowing damn well that they're on a platform that they that they don't even own and you just basically had them throw their careers down the drain to defend you because you wanted to jump out the tree like you're a truth speaker and then you backpedal and so i have no respect for nick cannon at this point and that's just what it is uh now we want to say why can't anybody talk about the, the, the those people nick cannon or anybody why we can't why why let me let, let's let's just deal with history here, right? If you want to know who the tyrant is, you just ask yourself who can't you talk bad about? I'm right, ninety nine point ninety nine percent of the time, and people can talk about me. People can talk about Donald Trump. Matter of fact, if I remember, a judge ruled that Donald Trump either couldn't block people or delete people on Twitter or something like that. If I'm not mistaken. So if the president of the United States can't stop free speech, how can this particular community not only continuously stop free speech, but ruin people's careers over free speech? So we got to ask ourselves this. Now you might say, Fred, you, you're making a big claim that these people are tyrants. Well, not only am I making a big claim, I'm getting ready to make a documentary. Because it's not only time to talk about these people, it's time to blow these people up. But I will say this, okay? And I will, I will say this. Communist China, as bad as they is, got their doctrine from these four-letter people who we can't seem to talk about. Karl Marx was a ooh. He was a ooh. Let's be clear on that. Communism was created by oohs. Oohs have been using communism to bring in the New World Order and take over governments via installation or infiltration of the economy via central banking. Okay? Socialism, a.k.a. Marxism, is the doorway to communism. So let's just be clear on that. So what these people do, just like they collapsed the Soviet Union in Russia due to interest inflation via the banking system, what these people do is they come to countries and they figure out who are the oppressed people in these countries, which they already know because they're the ones oppressing these people via infiltration of the political system of these countries that they seem to be uh, behind always. And then what they do is they hijack the political movement of these oppressed people and they use it to create a class conflict, lower versus upper class. And then through the chaos, they collapse the economy and then they institute communism. They have done this in every nation that they have been. And these people, according to actual historical documents, have been kicked out of 100 countries, not only for doing this, but for child sacrifice and pedophilia that nobody wants to talk about that is ordained in Judaism, okay? Not only does the Talmud confirm it, Jewish encyclopedias, which are thousands of confirmed understandings and scriptures written by rabbis, confirm it. So let's just be clear on that, okay? The Talmud, as well as Jewish encyclopedia, confirms that pedophilia is okay. Why? Because everybody who is a non-member of this community is considered a goyim. A goyim or a goy is a slave. And they say if you are not chosen by God, aka you're not a part of this community, you are a slave. And, and, they also, and it also states that they can steal from you, rob you, kill you, and rape you, and it's okay because you're not looked at as a human, you're looked at as a beast. You're looked at as a Gentile. So let's talk about that. Why are, why are nobody allowed to never talk about people who secretly not only worship Lucifer, okay? Because the home of Moloch, a.k.a. the devil, a.k.a. Remfran, a.k.a. Lucifer, is the synagogue. There's only one group of people who worship their God in a synagogue, and these are the same people you can't never talk about. So why are we not allowed to have open discussions about people who, one, have never historically, scientifically, or factually actually establish themselves as Semitic descendants. How can somebody use an argument of anti-Semitic hate when they have not factually proven to the world they're anti-Semites? I mean that they're actually Semites. Khazar, by definition, means wanderer. <laughs> Ashkenazi is a European converted member of this community. Neither of these entities were factually in Africa. At this time, because the Middle East is a part of Africa. I want y'all to remember that. It's, a, it's an extension of that. None of these people are homegrown Africans. So how are they claiming land in Africa? 
and be claiming to be descendants of land in Africa. How? When their genetic tree is only 6,000 years old and they just came out of the Caucasus Mountains. This is not a attack. The Bible says uh, Noah, who is considered a Khazar, okay, according to their religion, repopulated the planet Earth and had gave birth to his sons from the Middle East after he landed on in, in uh, Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat is the Caucasus Mountains. So even in a book, they tell you they come from the Caucasus Mountains. So what is this? What is this? What are y'all talking about? Who are these people? These people never factually told us who they was. And we sitting here trying to tiptoe around questioning people who validly need to not only be investigated, but need to be investigated thoroughly. Because these same people who we cannot question, not only are the authors of communism, which has destroyed Soviet Russia, destroyed Germany, destroyed China, and now is trying to destroy America, these people are the authors of pedocracy. Yes. Yes, they are. They're the authors of pedocracy, which they uphold through Freemasonry via democracy, which they uphold through the secret political cult of democracy. Yes. 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 All of the Freemasonic rituals that this community adheres to, that we're not allowed to question, come from ancient Greece via ancient Homer. So this is why this community uses democracy to introduce communism through socialism. And they got it all from Karl Marx. I mean, I mean they started using communism through Karl, Karl Marx, who was one of them. And so my thing is, they owe us an apology. They, know, they owe everybody around the world an apology. Not just black people for destroying our history and then putting a the face on and acting like you us. You did it once, now you're doing it again with Black Lives Matter. George Soros is a oo. He's a part of the oo-ish community. And he is funding Black Lives Matter and LGBTQ community. So not only do you owe black people reparations and an apology, you owe Russia an apology. You owe Germany an apology. You owe America an apology. So why are we always apologizing? to this community of people who seems to owe everybody else, everybody else an apology for their actions, not only past, but present. Everybody in America knows how everyone brags about how ooish attorneys, I mean, excuse me, attorneys are the best. How? How would somebody who, 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 who believes that, according to the Talmud, Jesus is in hell burning in feces, the best attorneys in a country that's founded upon the belief of God and Jesus. Even though I don't believe and I don't subscribe to Christianity, but this country is founded upon Christianity and Freemasonry. That's a fact. So how can non-Christians or people who, according to their own scriptures, say that the, say that the belief of Christianity is worse than the belief of paganism, be the best attorneys in a land where the law is best off is based off allegedly based off the Bible? That's a fact. This community, in their own Talmud, says that the New Testament in Christianity is worse than paganism. It should be looked down upon at a higher level, I mean, excuse me, at a level higher than of which they look down upon paganism. So how are they the best attorneys in a land where the law is based off something that they look down upon? They owe us an apology for, for using the banking system to run this goddamn country into the ground just like they just like they've done every other country and we're watching them do this one. Who you think collapsed the economy? The bankers. Who's the bankers? <laughs> People you can't talk about. Okay. Who 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 run the hip hop industry? People you can't talk about. Huh? Huh? So 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 even when they talk about black on black violence, they owe us an apology for that. We not teaching our own kids to gang bang. We not teaching our own women to be sexually deviant. We're not teaching our own people to, 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 to fill these prisons up. We're not miseducating our own people. We're not teaching this bull crap in the public schools. We're not feeding ourselves this garbage. We're not the ones stopping ourselves from getting loans. We didn't redline our own properties and then inflate the prices so we couldn't buy them back. Look at New York City, L.A. Why, 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 why everybody renting and, and nobody's home or property or estate owners, but the, but the rent is so high? Who owns it? People that you can't talk about. We're not the ones running not only the black community into the ground, but this country into the ground. So these people are sitting here not only worshiping Satan, but they running this goddamn country into the ground 
they are promoting pedophilia. Yes, they are. Jeffrey Epstein was a spy for the Jewish Mossad, and I'm and I'm doing a lecture on that on August 9th. The link is in the bio. The link is in the description. Jeffrey Epstein was a ooh. He was. And he was a spy for Israel. Huh? Who's 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 getting the, 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 the information of, of, uh, and the data from this country and taking it back from the FBI? Israel. So why can't nobody never talk about these people? And, and I'm not only going to talk about these people, I'm making a documentary. I'm about to blow y'all up. I don't want to hear none of that. And, and my thing is, is I put an offer on the table, okay? I, I'm civilized, okay? I turn up when, when, when somebody tried me, but I'm civilized. I'm putting an offer on the table. I got 50 bands, okay? Go get, go get your best Jew-ish scholar. Go get your best Jew-ish scholar. Young, old, I don't care. Go get him. Upcoming or already home up. I will give you 50 bands. If you can prove to me, historically, religiously, okay, and any other lead that you want to come with, that you are a valid ooh, and that you are actually a legitimate practitioner of Udaism. That's what I want to, that's what, and if you can prove it, I will, I, I, I have it right there waiting for you. And so it's time not only to talk about these people, I challenge you. I challenge your whole community. I'm doing it respectfully, but I'm doing it. And it must be done. And I'm going to end this video here. How can someone, and I, and I want to be clear, I'm not talking to black Hebrew Israelites. Let me be clear, I'm not beefing with y'all right now. I've debated y'all for years, right now I'm not beefing with y'all. Just go on, step to the side. I'm talking to non-black Hebrew Israelites, and I'm going to tell y'all why. As much as I do not agree with the Hebrew Israelite doctrine, black Hebrew Israelites defend themselves. Now, we might not agree, fine, but they do defend themselves with that, they do defend their doctrine. They will get that Bible and argue you down with that Bible. That's a fact. But never once have I had a black Hebrew Israelite call me an anti-Semitic. And so I just want to know, why do, you know, non-black Jews use a defensive term or take a defensive stand in a country that not only they're not from, Violating constitutional rights that, according to their own doctrine, they don't believe in, uphold, or honor. And they're using a historical and a uh, phenotypical defense that they have never established. What do I mean by this? In order to call me an anti-Semitic, you have to prove you're a Semite. You have to prove that everything you're saying is valid. And that has not been done. And I'm tired of people walking around acting like that has been done. They have never proven where they come from outside of the Caucasus Mountains. They have never proven that any of this shit has ever happened. Nobody has never proven that 600,000 white people not only lived in Egypt, not only built in Egypt as slaves, but then wandered 40 years across the desert. How? Nobody has never proven any of this. There's been no, no, no nothing. So my thing is, prove it. Prove it. Prove it. I will respect the anti-Semitic defense if somebody from Israel or America who is connected to the Jewish community can successfully prove to me that you are indeed the people that you claim to be. Because you have not done that. And until that's done, I don't understand how these people are wielding the power. To not just destroy anybody, but specifically black people, in the eyes of mainstream media, wherever they may be in there, or whatever platform they may be on, and totally derail people's careers for something that we have not proved. If I jump out my tree right now and say, "Oh, you anti-blood," oh, 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 we, 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 we clipping your wings. You done. Your career is done because you anti-blood. Your first thing people want to know is, well, how do we know you really a blood? To be offended and make that call. And I'm not saying I am. I'm just making up a sneer. Okay then. So if that makes sense. Let's, wh 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 who, who, is who are they? They above reproach? They above questioning? No they're not. Hell no they're not. So my, me my, my, my message to the community is this. 50 bags on your head. 50 bags on your head. You know how we do. 
y'all know how we do. This is my higher perspective channel, so I'm standing my higher self. But y'all know how we do. I'm dropping the bag on the head of the English community. Who want it? Who want it? I, all I need is one. All I need is one. You can be young, old, upcoming. I don't care. I just need one person of the Uish community to sit in my face on my live stream, on my YouTube channel. And I won't say shit. And I will give you three rounds, however long you need. Normally they 15 minutes. I'm saying however long you need. I'll give you three rounds. I'll be quiet. And I'll give you three chances in a row to prove your point. We can set this up respectfully. We can do. We can set this up civilly, and let's do it live on my channel. And if you if you can successfully prove to me what it is I'm asking, I'm a I'm a do it live. I'm a wire you the bag, and I'm a I'm a screenshot and let the public know I wired you the bag. So that's my. I don't want to hear this no more. I'm tired of all that. And if it and if you cannot prove it, okay. Once I'm talking to non-blacks, if you cannot prove it. Throw anti-Semitism in the garbage. Stop trying to censor people. Because we know who Google is working with. We know that Google is working with Israel and China. That's a fact. And we know who's censoring people. Israel and China. And China's already done. So when it comes to Israel, my thing is, why are you getting billions of dollars a year from this country for something that you have not proven? You taking food out of our mouths and our family's mouths to feed your family. For, for what? Y'all barely even have exports. You know how much stuff is imported into, into Israel versus exported out? So y'all got everybody feeding y'all. And y'all haven't haven't y'all not feeding nobody. Let alone you haven't even proven that you should be fed. Straight up. And so I don't respect Nick Cannon for being a P-U-S-S-Y. I don't. I don't. And I don't respect him even more for actually having the support of not only just the people. But the people around him personally who jeopardized their careers to hold him down, and then he folded. So, I'm going to let you know, I'll take that apology back. <laughs> I'm retracting Nick Cannon's apology. Nick Cannon does not apologize. Just like I retracted Snoop Dogg's apology, he doesn't apologize either. And if anybody from that community got a problem, you can come see me. And I'm telling you right now, don't come say nothing to me unless you're about to prove to me that you are who you say you are. Until you prove to me that you are who you say you are, I'm going to bang on you. That's a fact because I believe you're lying. And I have the right to, to voice my opinion. And my opinion is you're not telling the truth. And I'm going to make a documentary blowing y'all up. I'm making it. It's on the way now. I already didn't hit my documentary, my, my cinematographer. up. It's coming. I, and when, I'm not going to drop the name, but when I drop the name, you, you're going to know I'm not playing no games with y'all. So, somebody from that community reach out to me on any of my social media. Shoot me a DM. I don't care if you're a big person, little person. I don't care. You just have to be connected to the community. And we can go live on my channel and do this like intelligent adults. And if you can prove it to me, I will wire you, transfer you the bag straight from my bank account. And th this is my word right here on the internet. I'm giving my word. But if you cannot, if you cannot, you're done. Get out of here with that. Now, you can believe what you want to believe. But I don't have to accept your belief. That's a fact. I believe what I want to believe. You don't want to accept mine. Why I got to accept yours? Come on, man. Let's get it. And so, with that being said, uh... This video was not to offend anybody. Let me get my disclaimer. Please don't flag me for hate speech or none of that bull crap y'all do. This video is not to uh, offend anybody. This video is to is to preserve not just my constitutional rights, but the constitutional rights of everybody in this country so that we can voice our, our facts, that we have to say our opinions for you, okay? And so that way, uh, what you gonna call it? We don't get bullied into communism because we're not able to socialize our intellect with one another through us and, and, and bring awareness to the fact that our society has been infiltrated via the Democratic Party by Israel and China. Straight up. And so with that being said, family, Nick Cannon, you know, is, is not the one, but Malcolm X told him told us a long time ago, entertainers and, and, and uh comedians and, and people like that can't be uh leaders. Okay? He already warned us. So really, you're not disappointed in, in Nick. We're really disappointed in ourselves for not listening to Malcolm. So let us listen to Malcolm right now. And let us uh, 
whatchamacallit, walk forward, hug, hug, you know, and, 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 and safe within the arms of our ancestors. And with that being said, family, once again, this video was not to discourage. This video was not to promote anti-Semitism. This video wasn't to promote hate. This video wasn't to promote anything, any kind, of, anything or any, anything of any kind within within or of that nature this video was to spread awareness to the fact that there's a there's a specific group of people who have not only failed to prove their humanoid validity as far as their attachment to africa they have failed to prove their spiritual validity as far as the legitimacy of their doctrine and what comes out of their mouth in regards to who they say they are and so that being said i'm simply requesting validity just like we can foil freedom of information law okay i'm foiling uh the, the this community if if, if we want to use that analogy i'm asking them to show me the car facts okay if you sell me a car i i have a right to see what the, the history of this car not just uh you what you call it go off what you telling me but i get to i get to look at look at the statistics of this car and in, in, the, in the past events of this vehicle and prove it to myself and so every every philosophy every doctrine every argument every every psychological influence that comes across us as humans we have a right to research it the word research search again to confirm what you believe you have found or what you believe you have what you believe is being presented who told these people they are higher and, and, and above the standard of reproach and research. Who told us these people said they searched and this is what they found? Who who told these people that they so big we can't research behind them? Who told, and we say, well, well, we don't know how you found that because we don't see. Can you show us where you found that at? That's just facts. That's just facts. So somebody's lying. Somebody's lying. And we all know that. And I'm going to tell you exactly who's lying. It's this particular community. Oh, they're lying. Oh, they're lying for sure. Oh, they're lying. And not only are they lying, they're behind all of this. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're behind all of this. Jeffrey Epstein is, is critical not only because he was a pedophile, but he was a spy for the mm, Mossad. Yes, that's a fact. And they used him to blackmail American political figures for the last 30 years so that way they can have them influence our government in the favor of that particular country over there, which is cool with that particular CCP communistic country over there. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. That's fact. Wait, wait until I do my lecture in two weeks. Jeffrey Epstein, blah, 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 my, my biggest spy. Wait till I do my lecture. I'm coming with our receipts. Straight from the government. I'm coming with our receipts. So that being said, I, wanted, I need y'all to step out and play. I need y'all to step out and play. And if you don't want to step out and play, because all call-outs is mandatory. I'm not being, I'm, I'm fighting with this with my mind. All intellectual call-outs is mandatory. Not, not, I'm not no little dude. If you somebody that's big and, you, and, you're, a, and you're an intellectual influencer, call-outs is mandatory. Straight up. And so if, if nobody responds, if nobody takes me up on this, you can try to play the I'm too mature to respond role. Okay, cool. I'm going to let you know by now. Don't touch my shit. Don't take my shit down for anti, no, none of that. None, if you're not going to prove what you're saying I'm doing, then stop accusing me of, of allegedly doing something that you're saying that I'm doing. Straight up. So I'm going to just let y'all know, these people are not valid. These people are false. Everything that they believe is false is all made up so that way they can have some kind of self-righteous excuse to be and do the things that they've been doing, which are inherently evil on this planet that's just a fact and and they believe they've been ordained to do this and so that's just a fact and and, and they consider everybody else who is not one of them a goyim which is a slave and when you read the talmud it says it right in the fine print a goyim was created to serve a mm. So they believe everybody who's not one of them is meant to serve them. And they control us through fiat currency, a.k.a. money that they are literally printing out of thin air. So with that being said, somebody pop out. Somebody pop out. I got 50 bags on the community. 50, 50, 50 racks. Drop a bag. And so I'm, I'm not going to, uh, you know, keep repeating myself. If don't nobody want that smoke, fine. But, 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 but leave the black community out of the anti-Semitic conversation. Straight up, leave us out of that, cause cause we don't we're not going for that, we're not going for that at all. We 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 know you weren't here with us, 
and, and that's just what it is. And so we didn't see you in Africa. We don't know you. We didn't see you in North America, South America. We don't know you. We didn't see you when we was in Japan uh, as, 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 as Nagas in Japan. We don't know you. So I don't want to hear that. You got to prove it to me. I'm the, oh, I'm the grandfather of the planet. Let's be clear on that. They always say respect your elders. Well, why, why don't nobody respect black people? Because we are the humanoid elders of the planet. And we don't know you, player. We didn't raise you. We don't know you. We don't know you. You just moved on the block. We don't know where the hell you. You say you came from this street. Nigga, we called over there. They said ain't nobody never lived over there. So where you come from? So where y'all come from? So let's just be clear on that. So the offer stands. And, uh, you know, so it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be on the, it might be on the table forever, I ain't gonna lie, but as of right now, I'm gonna say it ain't gonna be on the table forever, cause I got more important things to do. But as I'm on y'all body right now, and I'm putting this documentary together to light y'all up, I'm gonna give y'all a chance to defend y'all beliefs, and to defend y'all allegations of, of who y'all are. And if y'all don't take me up on this offer, that's fine. But when I drop my documentary, don't touch it. That's all I'm asking. I'm, I'm opening the door right now for any one of y'all to step out. I'll even reward you financially if you can prove who you are. But if y'all, if nobody steps up, that's cool. All I'm saying is don't touch my documentary when it go up. I don't want to hear nothing about no anti-Semitism. I don't want to hear nothing about none of that. Be fair. Be fair. Be fair. And if not, I want the whole world to see that not only you created communism, I want them to see oppression and censorship being done in this country by entities who are trying to colonize their country from another illegitimate country that they established in order to control the world. And with that being said, let's see uh, if somebody can prove me wrong. And um, I want to leave out the door on this. Once again, this video is not to promote hate, anti-Semitism, or any of the, any, any of the above. Uh, you know, discuss topics. This video, however, is to let you know, please do not ever go out like Nick Cannon and apologize when you're right, let alone when you got backup. I'm not apologizing when I don't got no reinforcements, let alone when I got reinforcements. So with that being said, family, uh, this, has been an, this has been another episode of YP Higher Perspective. I apologize for not being on this channel for a while. As you can see, I was on my other channels going for broke. But now, uh... I'm back in my stable flow, and I'm going to be working all of my channels, and uh, I wanted to return to this one, not only higher body, but super higher body, and I hope that this video right here is exactly the type of content y'all wanted on this channel, you know, be on the lookout, because I got much more uploading after this, and with that being said, family, I love y'all, peace.